Those are the leaks of Need for Speed 2019, at least suppose, supposedly leaks. LP Ripper 24, got a whole bunch of stuff. That's his stuff. I thought I thought he linked like the sources. I think he got his source over an email or something. Yeah, 17 minutes of a guy talking about the leaks for the Need for Speed 2019. Let's go ahead and give it a go. The following video is solely based on rumors and the information included has not been verified by EA or any of its affiliates. A verified but anonymous source reached out to me with some information regarding Need for Speed 2019 that I feel like it would be great I'm for us to share. And An anonymous source came up to me and uh, gave me some information that I want to be able to share with you guys and discuss uh, and see what you guys think about it. See what you guys, uh, what your opinions are about this information. So now let's go ahead and get into the action real quick and let's talk about it we let's have 18 see. items to discuss without further ado let's talk about need for speed 2019 and what it could possibly be like Never stop racing. all right guys el ripper 24 number one the game is not always online and can be paused the new the 2019 title is need for money microtransaction <laughs> possibly okay game can be paused that is good Number two, supposed focus in street racers versus cop in the style of most wanted. That's interesting. Street racers versus cops in the style of most wanted. Like if that is true, that's going to be hype as fuck. If you're going to get a game that's just remotely like the original most wanted, that would be sick. Well, the title to, of the game, according to the source, is Need for Speed Heat. It's not Need for Speed. Wait a second. Let me, let me show that to you. Supposed the title is Need for Speed Heat. And it kind of looks like it has an 80s theme going on. And someone said that it, it was actually uh, an acronym. The letter H-E-A-T meant different things. I wonder if that person was right. I'll leave the link to the video at the end so you guys can go check it out. Okay, Heat is an acronym. Hyperextended Eating as Trumpet. I don't know, man. Number four, Break to Drift is returning, but has been fixed this time around. Break to Drift, I mean, I think that is a given. I very much, I very much assume we're gonna see Break to Drift. Like that studio, Ghost has always done Break to Drift. They did it back in the burnout days. Very likely we're gonna see another Break to Drift system. Like I totally believe that rumor. Like that is something that is probably true. That is something that you could have guessed if you ask me and uh, hopefully it's a little bit more modified. According to the source, it has been fixed and it works well this time around. So I think they might have just done a few tweaks to it to make it. I do think that the break to drift mechanic worked pretty well in payback. I just feel overall the game could have been faster. Some corners that you, you know, broke to drift, they were a little bit slow, where I was like, it would have been more fun if it had like the speed of a burnout. Break to drift and burnout was so much fun, in my opinion, because you were really fast around corners. That was like one of the things that was missing in payback. Faster, faster drifting around corners. Number five, leveling up unlocks parts like in 2015. You can also unlock more parts by completing other tasks. Okay, so unlock stuff while leveling up. That is pretty much exactly the same as in 2015. Definitely better than the fucking card system of payback. That was actual garbage. That's the one thing 2015 did better than payback, that you could upgrade your car with money and not fucking cards. According to the source, Need for Speed 2019 will be in Miami. If you think about Miami, there's no real elevation. There's no real uh, hills. So I'm thinking that off-road is definitely gone and something... <laughs> you know, the thing about Miami, if it's super flat, it's probably super easy to create a world around that, which is great for lazy developers or when you just want to spend only a small you amount of like money. A hot hand. You know, if you don't have a lot of money for level design, you just pick a flat city like Miami. So that makes sense. That could be true. Number seven, graphics are better than Payback and equal to Need for Speed 2015. I do agree that 2015 looked better in a lot of places than Payback. There was only one thing. 2015 had that grain filter over the entire image, which you could turn off on the PC, which made it a lot better. So I will definitely prefer the graphics of 2015 over Payback. Number eight, there's no day and night cycle, at least in early gameplay builds. There's different times of day, but to change the times of day, you have to approach a race. I like I like the idea that you have at least events at day and at night, rather than being limited to one time of the day. Not having a day and night cycle, why not? I mean, if you if you're cruising if you're cruising around on the world map, what's gonna happen? Like, is it just gonna stay night? 
remember like Wind Waker or something where like in some parts of the story it was permanently night <laughs> kind of like that but just just having events at day and having events at night i think it's nice number nine there is rain in the game and well this was suspected i honestly feel like Yay, if there's rain. no rain in the game then number 10 classic need for speed style cops chases returning they are in free roam they have heat levels etc I'm expecting 10 heat levels, like rivals. I don't know if it's gonna be coming back like that, but I, that's my expectation, and I want to know what you guys think about that. Dude, heat levels in rivals was was totally garbage. The heat level in rivals was just like a multiplier for something. I, I actually forgot what it did. I just remember it barely did anything. I just remember like one of the like the final opponent was like heat level seven or something. Uh, 10, I mean, and you got more bounty from that. It was stupid. Number 11, damage bar and petrol stations return from rivals. Your car can physically break down and you can get busted if you are in a pursuit. Okay, so we got a health bar, kind of like in Rivals. Number 12, the game has a strong single player story. The story is darker than payback. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want a payback story to return. I want a, a, a more serious, more realistic. I want to say within the realms of undercover. If this very dangerous <laughs> i'd like i'd like a, i would like a dark story number 13 need for speed pro street legal events alongside street racing are going to be happening in the game so you're going to be able okay so that's interesting because i i did a video on youtube where i was talking about my favorite need for speed where i was like you know at day i want to do pro street style legal racing and in the night i want to do illegal racing against the cops you can look that up. That video is probably one or two years old. It's like called my perfect need for speed or something. But that's exactly what I said. I want pro street at day and in the night I want like a most wanted. So number 14, speedless assignment system from need for speed rivals is returning. You can select multiple ways to progress through the linear story. Uh, in case you forgot, like speedless is something like this, where you have to do like certain things and then you can then you can advance to the next chapter. So do two hot pursuits, gold two of them, gold three interceptors, side slam ten cops. That was the speed list. Whatever whatever kind of assignments they're gonna give us, that is potentially something that is gonna advance the career. Number 15, the game is a fusion of Need for Speed 2015 and Need for Speed Rivals. 2015 is the perfect game to make at the base, and then Rivals was the perfect game to add in the cops. I kind of agree with that. I do kind of agree with that. Well, because 2015 had a good idea when it comes to like an underground style game and Rivals took a lot of ideas from Most Wanted. And the thing is both games had major flaws, which made them terrible. If they can actually put both games together and at the same time get rid of all the bullshit that both games had, it actually might be good. So number 17, the Heat logo seems to have an 80s flair to it. Whenever you see like blue, pink, you always think about those, you know, 80s racing games, synth, wave, exactly. I'm curious how many of the rumors are actually going to be true. Could be interesting. Some Vaporwave need for speed. Maybe. Let's find out. <laughs> need for speed by City. I like that one. <laughs> number 18, final one here. A ghost considers this as a foundation game for the next Need for Speed games. I had a feeling that this game was going to be, again, another restart for Ghost. And <laughs> Let's reboot. Let's reboot Need for Speed again. 2015 didn't work. People didn't want to buy a garbage game. Big surprise. Let's reboot. Let's reboot the entire series again. <laughs> as it said here by the source, this is just getting started. So... Guys, what do you guys think? There's a lot of information. Honestly, I I can't really confirm any. See, the thing the thing about, you know, let Ghost make the games. They kind of fucked up. They kind of fucked up the last three times. But at the same time, I don't see that EA would hire a better studio. You know, I think I think we have a better chance at having Ghost make a good Need for Speed than giving it again to a new team that just sucks even more ass. So I would also agree that Ghost has probably the highest probability of bringing out a good Need for Speed. I would not I would not expect the A to hire a better studio at this point. If this is all correct, then this game is looking good. 
And Ghost Games has have done an amazing job at making this game. I, I have no doubt. I know they're gonna do their best to make this game a proper 25th anniversary. <laughs> they said it already in the under hopefully they make the right decision. And I know they'll they're they're doing their job right, because that's what they do, that's what they do for a living. Just because you get paid for your job doesn't mean you do it well. <laughs> I think they've proven that many times. This is Elf Ripper 24, and I'm out. That's low again. So, shout outs to LP Ripper24 for supplying that video and the leaks. I'm definitely, well, I may, I'm, I'm curious how much of that stuff is actually true. So let's let's wrap the, let's wrap this up. What have we heard? We have heard it's supposed to be Need for Speed Heat, an 80s themed racer in Miami. Cops are back in free roaming with helicopters. No sign of speed breakers or pursuit breakers. No, neither. Official races like Pro Street during the day and probably illegal races at night with the cops. Oh yeah, Break to Drift is coming back. Arguably optimized and easier or better to drive, feels more natural. No word about multiplayer. The game is not always online, so you can pause the game. Oh yeah, speed lists are coming back, like how you progress through the career mode, like it was in Rivals. You do certain things and then you unlock the next chapter and you're gonna have like a more dark story again. Maybe something like Undercover, even Most Wanted, could be cool. I do think that Break to Drift is 100%. I would be very surprised if we are not getting Break to Drift. That is something that is something that they did always. That studio always made Break to Drift. I don't see anything else. But yeah, that's our first look at the leaks of Need for Speed 2019, Need for Speed Heat. At Gamescom, we're probably gonna see some gameplay and more information about the game itself. Could be cool.